self-employed singer waiting on tables. A dozen years ago, they formed a group called The Tourists. Today, as entertainment reporter Steve Kometko tells us, they are Dave Stewart and Annie Lennox, and they're quite well known as the Eurythmics. Good story, Steve. I had, a, I had a private audience with him. It was very nice. Oh, neat. It's been a couple of years since Eurythmics graced the stage or made a record, but they're back with an all-new album, the same old musical pizzazz, and a preview of their new material just for us. Once upon a time, Annie Lennox and Dave Stewart were not only a rock duo, but a romantic couple as well. Sweet dreams and sweet music were made of this. The romance soured and they broke up, but stayed together for the sake of the music. Now I'm leaving you. I think our bond has been very tried and tested, you know. Our musical thing was so strong that even though we broke up, we thought but we have to make this music. Well, I was born an original sinner. I was born an original sinner. Their collaboration as Eurythmics has lasted longer than a lot of marriages, 10 years. Lennox and Stewart are blissfully wedded to their professional liaison and to their family of hit songs. The woman in the jungle and the monkey on a tree. The dreams are made of the Their brand new album is called We Two Are One, a title which is a musical reflection of their outlook on life and their relationship. It's a bit like saying, well, <coughs> the whole human race is, is one race, really. And it's also like saying, we, we two are one, as well as the song. We have one musical vision. Recently, a select few were invited to hear the Eurythmics perform some of their newest compositions in the lobby of a Hollywood theater, the kind of intimate setting that makes even these veteran artists sweat. Actually, in a funny way, it's more challenging because the, the less people there, there are, the more you have to work. <laughs> so let's play it loud. Let's hear it for the king and queen of America. voice. Yeah. Now, I can't promise Annie Lennox and Dave Stewart will do a set in your living room, but they will appear in concert in L.A. in November singing songs from We Too R1, which, by the way, hit record stores this week.